Hey guys! <laughs> I'm so sick, man. Anyways, today we're gonna be taking a look at a new product from Vupu. It's their newest Vinci product from their Vinci line, and it's called the Vinci Air. And I like it. Little bitty thing. And now, if you look, I'm gonna show you, okay? You got the, the Vinci X, which is the larger, the 18650 version, and then you got the, the Vupu Vinci. Just a regular old Vinci with a built-in battery. And now you got this Air. This is also made of zinc alloy, too. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Okay, here's the mini screen. Tiny little mini screen. Very simple. Vapes from 5 watts to 30 watts, depending on the coil you have in here. Right now, I got the 1 ohm coil, and that's the one I prefer. We'll get into that. The max waters you can vape with this 1 ohm coil is 15 watts. And that's okay to me, because I like to vape it even lower. With the other coil that comes with this, the 0 0.60 mesh, nice wide bore, uses organic cotton, nothing different than any other company out there. Solid coil head, but with that coil head, the 0.6, you can vape it all the way up to 30 watts. Oh yeah, here's a look at the 1 ohm. It's just your standard round wire coil with organic cotton. So yeah, this mini screen, it's small, it's petite, it gets the job done. You don't have temperature mode, curve mode, yada, yada, yada. You got just simple dimple. Like I said, 5 to 30 watts. If you tap the fire button three times, you can vape this thing in manual mode with a fire button. If you tap it again three times, it turns it off to so where it's in auto mode only. I think that's pretty cool, man, that you can run both auto mode or manual mode. But you got two other settings for this mini screen. One of them is if you hold down the fire button, the wash up button at the same time, you lock the whole device. Can't fire her up, can't adjust the wattage. Do the same thing to unlock it, of course. And the second setting is you can clear the puffs. And in order to do that, you hold down the fire button, the wash down button down at the same time. Back to zero. So yeah, like I said, she's made of zinc alloy. And I love the matte finish. Really dig the matte finish, man. I mean, the back, you guys see the back panel where it says Vinci Air. That's kind of shiny. I don't mind that. But the rest of the device is matte. And I like that. Not a fingerprint magnet. On the front, it says Vupu. You got the fire button. Like the fire button. Nice and clicky. Under that, you got the tiny itty bitty titty mini screen. It says Gene, Gene chip inside at the bottom. On this side of the top, you got your airflow, three airflow slots. Got your wadge up, wadge down button down below that. On the other side, another itty bitty titty airflow slot. And then underneath that, you got a USB port. That's right, this thing takes a USB. It's got one amp charging. Ugh. All these companies need to at least have two amp quick charge. On the bottom, it's got vent holes. And then of course, at the top, you got your refillable pod. Oh yeah, this mother chucker houses a 900 milliamp hour battery. Not bad for the size, but yeah, the refillable pod holds four mils of e-liquid guys at the top it's got that same type of mouthpiece pretty much the exact same as the vinci and the vinci x if we pull the pod out it is magnetic there are your connections inside nice and clean just like the vinci and vinci x the cord press fits into the bottom to fill her up all you gotta do is pull on this big plug it looks like the hole is gonna be a lot bigger but it's not you got a nice size hole once you're done filling her you plug it pop it back in there now before i bait this thing i do want to show you this like i said on one side you got a hole just a single itty bitty titty hole you see that hole yeah and then on the other side you got three slots this thing has adjustable airflow guys Guys. Not like you're thinking, but like the other Vinci products where you take the pod out and you flip it. That's how this thing has adjustable airflow. So if we pull this thing out now, you got the refillable slot facing you. That's in the tightest airflow setting, guys. If we flip it around and pop it in there, that's in its loosest setting. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and vape it. So yeah, how does she vape? Right now, I'm rocking the 1 ohm cool head in here. And guess what wattage I'm vaping it at? Only 8 watts, guys. 8 freaking watts! I mean, the vapor's not impressive, but it's only 8 watts! And this is a lung hit. Restricted lung hit. Really restricted lung hit. And the flavor's good. It's a warm vape. It's nothing hot, not even close, but the fact that I'm able to vape this thing at 8 watts, get a comfortably tight restricted lung hit, I'm saving on battery life for days. And another thing, I like how you could rip it long. <laughs> rip it long. <laughs> now, if I want to open up the airflow, I could do it with this. And in order to do that, what you got to do is pull the pot out and then flip it. Of course, when I do that, it's not going to fly vaping it at 8 watts. I got to take her up. With the 1 ohm coil, the max is 15 watts. Yep, 15. At least two and a half times more airflow off this setting than off the previous. Massive difference. And that's a good thing. Bad news is when you take the wattage up, you know, to compensate for the adjustable airflow, the wide open airflow, you're going to lose on battery life. Personally, the way that I vape, I like to use the one ohm coil like I have in here, change it to its tightest setting. Of course, take the wattage down. 10 watts, that's the way I like it. And I'm going to do a mouth lung just to show you because I really like the mouth lungs off this one ohm. Very comfortable. Flavor is rocking. It's not the best mouth lung I've ever gotten. Definitely not the most legit. And I consider legit like a cigarette. Legit mouth lung like you're pulling through a filter. Yeah, that's not what I'm getting off this. It's a loose mouth lung. With the other coil, the 0.6, you're just going to get more airflow. But you ain't going to get a good mouth lung. Just too much airflow. And it's a good vape. It's like all the other Vinci coil heads. I just wanted to show you something a little bit different. Because I usually don't do mouth lungs off of AIO kits. And I really like this coil head. I wish it was a little bit tighter. But beggars can't be choosers, can they? I cannot believe it. I almost forgot to show you what you get with this kit besides the kit. Of course, you're going to receive packaging. Nothing different, just a box. Comes with your Vinci Air kit. You get a USB cable, two coil heads, and some info cards. All in all, guys, I'm digging the product. Digging it for the price point, and I'm seeing online and sell it for about 25 to 35 bucks. I'm done. That's it. I am.
out, mother chuggers. This is Rip Chippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. The future is now. Peace. Later, gators.